Genesis 46. So Israel set out with all that was his, and when he reached Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to the God of his father Isaac. And God spoke to Israel in a vision at night and said, Jacob, Jacob, here I am, he replied. I am God, the God of your father, he said. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for I will make you into a great nation there. I will go down to Egypt with you, and I will surely bring you back again. And Joseph's own hand will close your eyes. Then Jacob left Beersheba, and Israel's sons took their father Jacob and their children and their wives in the carts that Pharaoh had sent to transport him. So Jacob and all his offspring went to Egypt, taking with them livestock and the possessions they had acquired in Canaan. Jacob brought with him to Egypt his sons and grandsons and his daughters and granddaughters, all his offspring. These are the names of the sons of Israel, Jacob and his descendants who went to Egypt. Reuben, the firstborn of Jacob. The sons of Reuben, Hanak, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. The sons of Simeon, Jemuel, Jamin, Ohad, Jacob, Zohar, and Shaul, the son of a Canaanite woman. The sons of Levi, Gershon, Kaoth, and Merari. The sons of Judah, Er, Onan, Shelah, Perez, and Zerah. But Er and Onan had died in the land of Canaan. The sons of Perez, Hezron, and Hamul. The sons of Issachar, Tola, Pua, Jeshab, and Shimron. The sons of Zebulun, Sered, Elon, and Jahleel. These were the sons of Leah, born to Jacob in Padam Aram, besides his daughter Dinah. These sons and daughters of his were 33 in all. The sons of Gad, Zephon, Hegai, Shuni, Esban, Eri, Arodai, and Arele. The sons of Asher, Imna, Ishva, Ishvi, and Beriah. Their sister was Sehra. The sons of Beriah, Heber, and Malchiel. These were the children born to Jacob by Zilpah, whom Laban had given to his daughter Leah, 16 in all. The sons of Jacob's wife, Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. In Egypt, Manasseh and Ephraim were born to Joseph by Asenath, the daughter of Potiphar, the priest of On. The sons of Benjamin, Bela, Becker, Ashbel, Gira, Naaman, Ehi, Rosh, Mopim, Hopim, and Ard. These were the sons of Rachel who were born to Jacob, fourteen in all. The sons of Dan, Hushim, the sons of Naphtali, Jesiel, Guni, Jezer, and Shelem. These were the sons born to Jacob by Bilhah whom Laban had given to his daughter Rachel, seven in all. All those who went to Egypt with Jacob, those who were his direct descendants, not counting his son's wives, numbered 66 persons. With the two sons who had been born to Joseph in Egypt, the members of Jacob's family, which went to Egypt, were 70 in all. Now Jacob sent Judah ahead of him to Joseph to get directions to Goshen. When they arrived in the region of Goshen, Joseph had his chariot made ready and went to Goshen to meet his father, Israel. As soon as Joseph appeared before him, he threw his arms around his father and wept for a long time. Israel said to Joseph, Now I am ready to die, since I have seen for myself that you are still alive. Then Joseph said to his brothers and his father's household, I will go up and speak to Pharaoh, and I will say to him, my brothers and my father's household, who were living in the land of Canaan, have come to me. The men are shepherds, they tend livestock, and they have brought along their flocks and herds and everything they own. 
When Pharaoh calls you in and asks, what is your occupation? You should answer, your servants have tended livestock from our boyhood on, just as our fathers did. Then you will be allowed to settle in the region of Goshen, for all shepherds are detestable to the Egyptians. <laughs>